Hey everyone, welcome. I'm excited to be here and we've got a lot to cover today. So I think this will be fun for many of you guys because uh, we just launched a new starter kit with CBD. So <laughs> very exciting when things like this happen. Uh, we love it when um, Young Living does things for us to help us uh, to give us better deals on things. And I'm just really happy to be here. So this is going to be a little bit different of a presentation than you're used to. Uh, I am not going to show my face for this one. So <laughs> that's always sort of sort of funny for some of you. You've seen some of these presentations before, but this is going to be a slideshow. So I can see your comments. I see um, Cindy on here and Kathy and Jody and Camille and Priscilla, Jennifer. I love it. All you guys on here, welcome. I'd love for you to just simply share if you've used CBD or not. So I'm curious how many of you have used our CBD? How many have used another company? Um, because this is a, a specific company we're going to be talking about, um, no advertising of other CBD companies. I know, I know that happens sometimes, but uh, you'll get you'll get banned. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. Um, <clears throat> but let me start by just sharing a little bit about me um, and why uh, why I'm speaking to you about this and what my credentials are. Uh, again, my name is Jen O'Sullivan, and I have been using Young Living since 2007 and have been a loyal customer, but I've also been one of those people who have just wanted to see if there was anything else out there, right? And you guys have watched me try over 20 different brands of, of oils, um, because I always think like there's no way one company can be like the best. <laughs> so, so interestingly though, um, to understand that and to go from the perspective of trying things and you know wanting to make sure that I'm using the right product and the the right thing for my family, it has been just a really important important thing for me to to kind of get to the point of being able to uh, share super confidently. Uh, I started this group I think like four years ago and it's grown to over 230,000 people and I absolutely adore each and every one of you, the ones that participate at least because <laughs> I can see you and I love hearing from you. Um, we even have a cross line group that we, we hang out and talk and it's super fun just to be able to see the community that Young Living has to offer. That's probably one of the things that's blown me away the most. So um, I've been, like I said, using Young Living since 2007. I'm super skeptical about things. And I think that that is why many of you guys appreciate me. I shoot from the hip. I tell you like it is. I'm the only one that sticks her neck out when there's some hypey thing going on. <laughs> so, you know, I get myself into, into some hot water uh, sometimes. But it's only in an effort to find the truth. Uh, many of you guys know that I'm a Christian and I am a truth teller and I believe in true truth. I think true truth is really important. So I want to welcome you guys to the first ever CBD premium starter kit class. <laughs> so you're going to hear me call the premium starter kit a PSK every once in a while. So just so that you're aware, um, you know, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to be discussing is some of the things as it pertains to CBD in general. But um, one of the things that I love is that we're now offering a CBD starter kit at almost 50% off. So I love it. I love it more than anything. I think it's super fun and I hope you guys do too. So some of you are expert veterans, right? Some of you absolutely know everything about CBD and others of you don't know much and you're just not sure about this stuff. <laughs> so I'd love if you can tell us if you're new or if you're a veteran. Um, so just make a comment there. But I think it's interesting that there's a lot of preconceived notions surrounding, uh, you know, these, these things, CBD in general, right? And I think that when we start to understand certain things about truth in advertising, truth in labeling, safe products for consumers, um, it's an interesting world that we live in. And some of you, I think, even consider CBD to be marijuana, right? I've had friends say, I don't want to be the marijuana mom. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about CBD because of that. Uh, you know, question like, why is it illegal in some states? Why in some countries can you be put to death if you're caught with it? I mean, like, what? <laughs> right? And 
and and some of you might really just say forget that like no thanks okay well if I can ask you just to hold on a second because I want to ask if you'd be willing to let me help you understand because education is power we know this when it comes to CBD there's a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of preconceived notions that are just not true so you know one thing I love doing in my classes is dispelling rumors and at Young Living we like to share the truth and not hype right and so many companies are all about the hype and marketing tactics Young Living absolutely doesn't need to do this because they don't need to hide behind tactics. They don't need to hide behind hype because guess what? There's no need for it, <laughs> okay? So I'd love to share with you my background, if that's okay, and my personal story a little bit about how I've got started. Um, I was really gullible. I didn't know I was gullible, obviously, when I was younger, but it was something that messed me up because I really thought that people – would naturally tell the truth. I didn't understand marketing and I honestly was really horrified when I found out that there were so many half-truths that are combined with outright lies to sell products. Um, you know, I, I'm even in the middle of writing a book right now, almost finished up, called um, Undomesticating God, and that's the same thing that happens in religion, right? You think about Adam and Eve at the beginning, you know, you know, Satan told them a half-truth. It was a half-truth mixed with a lie that that deceived them and that's what deception is and that's why deception can be so scary because it's a half truth you know I, I was talking to my son the other day about the sex education that he's getting in, cl in classes right now and it's frightening to me that teachers are telling kids go ahead and have sex with same-sex partners even if you're heterosexual because it's the best way not to get pregnant like what Okay, that is a big lie and a big half truth, right? Of course it's true if you are not gay but you decide to have sex with the same sex partner, you won't get pregnant, right? That's a true, but it's mixed with a major deceitful lie that will cause greater consequences down the road. So this is what I mean by truth. And I think we have to understand that so many things like organic. So let's talk about things like these products now. Organic isn't really organic in many cases because of bribes and because of cover-ups and because of neighboring farms, right? So the more you start to learn about organic and how it really isn't truly organic, it's sort of frightening. Also, toxin-free means nothing. So many of us use that term toxin-free, but did you know that anything can be a toxin if you take it in high enough quantities? Also, scare tactics, they're often backed up by improper studies you know how many people pr like do an actual weird study claim it was a study they're not gonna say it was a double blind gold standard study because it's not it's an in-house study that proves their point and you can make any quote-unquote study prove your point right this is called marketing so that they can say studies have shown well what studies <laughs> right? this happens all the time and it's super super frustrating so Here's the interesting thing. Companies are able to, to claim that there are ingredients in their products when those ingredients aren't even in there. And even worse, on the other side, they can say certain ingredients are not in their products even though they are. And so the question is, how, how can this be? Like, isn't there a law about truth in advertising? Isn't there a law about truth in labeling? Isn't there a law about keeping products safe for consumers? So interestingly, yes and no. <laughs> so if you're looking at regulatory guidelines, companies really just look at these as a suggestion. So in the United States, did you know all companies, when it comes to consumer-related products, are self-policed? So who wins and who loses here? right? The mighty dollar wins every time, meaning the company and their profit margins win, and you die. The unsuccess unsuspecting consumer dies. And I, I get it. You might think, wait a minute, didn't you mean to say you lose? No. I mean, this is where this stuff gets really kind of interesting. Check this out. The World Health Organization stated that an estimated 12.6 million people died as a result of living or working in an unhealthy environment in 2012. Nearly one in four of total global deaths, according to new estimates from WHO, which is the World Health Organization. So environmental risk factors such as air, water and soil pollution, chemical exposures, 
climate change, and ultraviolet radiation contribute to more than 100 diseases and injuries. All right, that is a big, big statement. And if we're looking at kind of like a cross section of what this means, look at this, strokes, do, do too, okay? These are all things from their study based on environmental factors. 2.5 million deaths annually because of strokes from environmental factors. Um, ish, ischemic, I can't say that, but heart disease where, where the blood's not working right, 2.3 million deaths because of this kind of heart disease. Cancers, 1.7 million deaths annually. Chronic respiratory diseases, 1.4 million deaths. Diarrheal, that's a funky word, right? Just diarrhea, uh, is 846,000 deaths annually. Respiratory infections, 567,000 deaths annually, annually. And sorry, ladies, our babies, neonatal conditions, no thanks, 270,000 deaths annually. That's, I mean, compared to the other numbers, not, it's the smallest one, but it's to me like super frightening. And I'm not interested in that at all. And I hope that you are not interested in that either. And so for me, integrity matters. And it was really important for me as a gullible person to find a company that would not lie to me, right? I absolutely needed to feel confident in the integrity of a company to place my health in their hands. And if integrity is important to you, I would love for you to like raise your hand and say, integrity matters, just claim it. I fear that too many people aren't claiming that and I want you to claim that like right now. So if integrity matters to you, put it up there. Uh, so basically, that means, and this is important because if you're looking at integrity, right, what does it mean? For me, integrity means that a company is following and upholding all government regulations. So I'm going to ask you a quick question here because I don't know that many of you know this, but did you know that most essential oil companies and actually every single one that I have tried over the over literally over 20 to date have failed in this area that most most companies either go against labeling regulations, meaning their labels are against the law, how they're labeling is against the law. Um, and oftentimes you'll see this in the case of, of companies just, ah, I don't wanna go through the hassle and the price tag of having to create a consumable only line versus a topical and aromatic. Did you know that it's illegal for an, a, co a company to label their oils aromatic, topical, and ingestible. All you have to do is check the oil that you're using, like lemon or something that's commonly consumable, and see if they're labeling all three things. Guess what? And I'm not lying to you here. This is an FDA regulation law that they are going against. So your company's breaking the law. I, I'm not interested in that. But the other thing that I'm seeing is so many companies are using marketing tactics to lie to you. We're seeing this in some newcomers now where they're directly lying to you. <laughs> and I'm not interested in that. I'm, I'm so not interested in that that I haven't really given these companies any FaceTime because I don't want to. I'm over it. I've had several of you guys message me to ask questions and I just send you the stuff. I send you a photo of the owner. I send you a some, some direct ish things that they lie about so that you can know. But at the end of the day, it's not my job to bash another company. And that's another thing that integrity is super important to me, that Young Living never bashes other companies. If you are with a company that is sitting there bashing other companies, get out. It's not worth your time, unless integrity doesn't matter to you. So this is where I think it's really important. And honestly, Young Living is the only company I know of that, adhe that adheres to the very strict labeling and truth in advertising laws. So thank you, <laughs> Young Living, right? The thing also, though, that integrity means to me is admitting fault when fault occurs. Did you know, like, everyone makes mistakes? I think some of you think you never do, but everyone makes my mistakes, myself included. And no company is immune from mistakes. The big difference is that most companies just cover them up. And what I love is that Young Living has a proven track record of time and time again being trustworthy because they never cover anything up. What they do is if they make a mistake or they find out that someone in their company has made a mistake, they make it right. And guess what? They actually grow and learn from that mistake by making the world a better place through their learning because they're the biggest company on the planet. 
And if they can learn from their mistakes and make things better, that is exactly the legacy that Gary Young left us. And I love that our leaders are still upholding that. And here's the other thing. Lastly, for me, integrity means that it going slowly sometimes, right? And in the case of CBD, Young Living has gone very slow. <laughs> Some people would say a snail's pace. Other companies you might have seen quickly jump on the bandwagon. Young Living took their time and made sure that they were 100% following government laws. And they also made sure that the CBD farm that they partnered with is the best in the entire United States. And if you know anything about farming, if you know anything about CBD, you will understand why this simple fact is so, so very, very, very important. So we're going to get into that in just a bit. But first, I want to go over um, some of potentially your preconceived notions. And I think that 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 has some weight to it. I think that, you know, many of you do have preconceived notions and I would love for you to share maybe what those preconceived notions are. What are some of the things that you have decided um, is true about CBD that probably isn't. But first I wanna help you understand the underbelly of the CBD world and really the market as we see it today. I, I did make a very kind of crazy claim that some, some countries, if you're caught with CBD, you get the death penalty. That's actually true. And sadly, it's because they're classified as a type one drug and it's not, but they've lumped it in there, I think really because of the fact that a lot of times companies will label CBD as pure CBD isolated, but it's not. And again, it goes back to truth and labeling. And so they've just decided to blanket statement that and just say, no, we're not having any of it. So I'm gonna help you understand what CBD is and, and how it all works. But we have to remember that it is steeped in, in suspicion and preconceived notions. So, so what I mean by that is if you, you remember like back in the day when we had um, people who listened to death metal <laughs> or heavy metal and and people would say that it was like satanic devil worship right we all can look back on that and kind of giggle a little, a little bit yeah sure certain artists decided they wanted to be a little extreme um but in its essence like heavy metal is just like rock and roll even even back in the 50s they considered rock and roll to be sent satanic i mean i remember even just a few years ago my mom saying she would never participate in yoga because it was from the devil <laughs> I'm like what right so preconceived notions can trip us up and i get that and the problem with cbd is is yeah uh part of it comes from the marijuana plant right but when you know what the difference is between hemp and marijuana, you'll know that it, they're actually not from the same plant. They're, they're from the same species, but not the same actual plant. And so cannabis is both hemp and marijuana, right? But technically hemp from cannabis, right? So the hemp plant from cannabis has barely any THC. It has been cultivated to pull that molecule out. And so oftentimes when you're getting into understanding all of this, and understanding that CBD, right? So the cannabidiol, so if you're gonna pronounce that, it's cannabidiol, <laughs> okay? Um, or cannabidiol, however you wanna pronounce that. And then THC is tetrahydrocannabidiol. So understanding that there's these two molecules, right? <laughs> two molecules in the hemp plant, this, this understanding, again, going back to cannabis, in the hemp plant, there's over 500 molecules in, found in the cannabis plant, but the two that have been pulled out for us to kind of understand in a little bit better way are CBD and THC. And the importance is to understand that both of these molecules have very similar actions. The difference is THC is the molecule. It is the molecule that causes that the psychoactive properties, right? That getting high. And technically even THC in small amounts won't get you high. And so there's all these preconceived notions about it. All it does is sort of 
take the edge off. It's kind of like if you had one glass of wine. So, so when, you know, we look at a CBD, even CBD laced with small amounts of THC, if it's from the hemp plant, you're going to get like a product that contains about 0.3% or less, which would be about enough to give you like a one glass of wine buzz. So the problem with that is I want to ask you, are you against alcohol? And I, what I mean by that is a glass of wine. Now, I told you earlier I'm a Christian. I'm not what's considered a straight edge Christian. I have a glass of wine every once in a while. I never get drunk. It is a very rare occurrence. And it has happened, I think, twice in my life because I've I mixed alcohol and didn't understand that you can't do that. So <laughs> I have ha I've had like one glass of wine and that will kind of take the edge off. I actually drink maybe three or four times a year, like one glass of wine. I'll have it at dinner when we're going out for a special occasion, something like that. But one glass of wine. Are you guys judging me now as an alcoholic? Am I, am I a, a, you know, am I an over consumer of alcoholic? Even one glass of wine a day, right? Like, does anyone, anyone care about that? So that's what's interesting to me about the whole CBD THC thing. It's really not that big of a deal. The problem is, and, and just to understand the history of this, is that the people who started the CBD selling industry when it became legal, right, in, in different countries and now here in the United States, were the people who wanted the high. So go back to truth and labeling. They can say all they want. Oh, yeah, it's got 0.03% THC, but they know it doesn't right? This is why there's so much confusion confusion surrounding this, because those people are people who are just trying to get around the law. And so I get your frustration. I get your concern. I get why this could be something that could be very confusing for people. But if we really dumb things down a little bit um, and help you understand, again, integrity, of a company and why Young Living moved so slowly is that we have partnered with a company that is very, very specific about purity. And so it's it's important to understand that we we I don't I don't want even the glass of wine effect. I, I mean some of you might, and so that would mean you would not want to go with our company. Honestly, I'm just being honest. I had uh, you know, my husband rides with a bunch of guys and and he was telling them, hey, Young Living carries C B D now. This was last year. And they, they were real clear. Well, is it CBD with THC or without? And he said, without. And he's, they were like, meh, we don't want it. We want the THC. So there will be some people in your circles that want the THC. Ours doesn't have any. It's an isolate. It's isolated CBD. So it's an interesting kind of uh, question. But for me, I want to help dispel some of these rumors so that you understand if you start using this, you're not a, you're not a marijuana user. Okay. You're not going to get high. You're not going to have any issues. Okay. So this is an important thing to, to understand. And as they were studying this CBD and understanding like it back in the sixties, it really got discovered right around like 1940. And then like in the 1947, it really started kind of, they started understanding it more. And then in the sixties, they started doing more research on it. On, um, on primates and finding that it was incredible. The benefits of CBD isolate alone are incredible. And so, so if we look at why Young Living has taken so long, I applaud them. I really do. I think it's a very important thing to feel confident in that this product line, these three products here, are such an important addition to the Young Living line. And we're going to go into a lot about why certain things that are mixed in here matter so much more and why certain things are not in here and why that matters, right? So let's start with talking about purity and understanding that nature's ultra this is the company that we have partnered with so basically nature's ultra is a farm up in um very high altitudes in colorado it's a 1500 acre hemp farm and what's so cool about this is that they don't have to use any pesticides zero pesticides and also just know that they are one of the very first farms to ever hold a usda organic handler certification and that means that their land has never had any chemicals on it at all. There's, there's a big difference here. And so, it, it, I mean, this is how important partnering with the right farm was for us. 
and we are an exclusive partner with them. So nobody else uses their stuff. So I know that our hemp is coming from clean seeds and clean dirt. Okay. So if you're using a different company, what I want you to do is call them and ask them how they feel about the soil that their hemp plant is coming from. If they don't know, ask to speak to somebody higher up. Oftentimes you're gonna get an answer like this. Well, we leave it up to the farmers. Or, well, it wouldn't really matter in the final product because once the isolate has been pulled out and we've isolated that molecule, any other toxin, toxic molecules or synthetic molecules will have been pulled out. So even if the soil was bad, that's no big deal, okay? I'm thinking it's a huge deal. And the reason it's a huge deal is because that hemp plants, so this is where it gets very interesting to me, is that hemp plants are problematic for many people. And why I say problematic, because if you understand what the hemp plant does. And what I mean by that is how are you going to be able to use CBD, right? Um, and not have any other weird side effects. Okay. So what does that mean? Um, there's a funny thing about the cannabis plant that I feel is actually quite amazing is that they do this phenomenal job at cleaning both the air and the soil and the ground water. So this is called phytoremediation. And basically what that means is that it, cannabis is a na natural like synthetic and toxin vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so a lot of a lot of like farmers know that they can plant hand, they can they can literally plant cannabis plant <laughs> in their ground uh, let's say uh, somebody purchases a farm and it was a non, an inorganic farm. They can plant cannabis for a couple rotations and it will clean that land up. It will suck the chemicals out of the earth and out of the air and out of the groundwater to clean up the land. Like that's fascinating to me. It should be to you too. So what's interesting though is, and what I love is that Young Living cared about the soil. <laughs> and we always look at the seeds and the soil. So if you purchase CBD from plants that are grown in non-organic environments, right, or simply where a neighboring farm is not organic, guess what? You're going to be using CBD that is contaminated at its core. And if any of you are celiac and you've really researched understanding gluten and the way that it has been bastardized, how our wheat here in the United States have been has been totally modified, that's why our bodies can't consume it because at its core, it is no longer wheat. The DNA structure of our wheat here in the United States is different than if I go to Italy and eat wheat, completely different. So you can't say that Cannabis, cannabis plant, hemp plant, is the same across the board because if it's contaminated at its core, you're going to get contaminated CBD oil. So remember, clean soil, zero pesticides or chemicals, zero contaminated water from neighboring farms, and even recycled rain, right, are huge important factors at any cannabis farm. So for a customer service rep to say, oh, it doesn't matter, and at our final our final thing will be totally clean and it won't matter. I will highly disagree with that. And one thing that is so important to me is the fact that Young Living's CBD purity is unlike any I've found. And I have tested a lot of CBD brands at this point, and I am surprised at how clean this is. Like my body feels clean when I use it. All right, so this is a second thing that is so important to understand. Now, one of the big key elements when talking about CBD is the idea of like full spectrum, broad spectrum, getting this entourage effect. Okay, so there are benefits from using CBD that is a full spectrum or an unmodified whole plant, right? And so if you're understanding whole plant extract, you're, you're basically taking marijuana. So to, to get the whole entire plant, and to get the whole entire effect that contains the THC, this is called the entourage effect. And you're gonna hear a lot of other 
people who are selling you CBD products talk about this. And that just means that their product does contain THC. And the important thing to note is that you're going to fail a drug test with their product. This is so important because when other companies are selling you CBD and they're not real clear on the THC content, there's going to be some problems long term. And, you know, for me personally, I don't want the THC. So again, I've had arguments with people over this, but it's just personally what I don't want. So we have to remember that that's what it is, the untouched plant. So this would be classified as a drug. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not really wanting that and I don't know if you are. So again, I'm, I'm speaking to whoever feels the same as me, I suppose. But if we're looking at broad spectrum, that's what it is. What I love that Young Living has found, and this is what I love about our research and development department, um, specifically Dr. Ollie, who is Young's one of his main physicians and is a highly respected um, doctor and author in Young Living, that they Young Living decided to term our oil smart spectrum. And, and what smart spectrum means is using essential oils, right? to give back some of that entourage effect. So it's considered broad spectrum. All right, so let's understand what this whole thing is. Um, first of all, Young Living is the only company in the United States to provide full spectrum essential oils. So when you hear me talking about essential oils, I often use the term um, unmodified or they're not fractionally distilled. Every single company I have ever tested, except for one and half of another company, uses what's called fractionally distilled essential oils. Those are modified oils. It is just like how we're talking about CBD here. It's an isolate. They've taken molecules out that they find not interesting to them. They, you know, here we're using one out of 500 molecules for CBD. The thing is, if you've heard any talks about fractional distillation, if you've heard about synergy and what that looks like it would be like so i was a, a girl, girlfriend of mine fell on her mountain bike the other day and i always carry a, a roller ball of deep relief with me so she was all banged up and i'm like would you like some some deep relief and she's like yes please so we rolled it on her fingers and she put it on the places where it was not feeling good and she was like thank you and another gal that i was riding with said hey what is that can i see it sure she took it looked at it she noticed that the first two ingredients, and I don't have the CBD rollerball, or excuse me, the um, deep relief rollerball, but I think it was like peppermint and lemon or something like that. And she's like, oh, it has peppermint and lemon. I'll just, I'll just get uh, peppermint and lemon and make a rollerball of that. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? She's like, well, they're the first two ingredients listed. And again, I apologize if I'm wrong on these. This is a story I'm remembering. But um, the first two ingredients listed is means it's the most that's in there. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm like wait, what? <laughs> right? I was like, okay, so in an apple pie, the main two ingredients would be apple and flour, uh, you know, or maybe, maybe sugar, maybe we should go with apple and sugar. And that's going to create that apple pie, right? I mean, that's like, I don't know, stupidity at its core. I mean, is that being mean, you guys? I don't know. It's sort of like, that's not how synergy works. If you take a cookie and you decide to leave out the flour, you're not going to get a cookie. <laughs> right? So that's the thing when it comes to essential oils. It's so important to use what's called an unmodified oil. And so what Young Living has done is, is, is proprietarily blended, right? They've taken specific essential oils and blended them into this isolate and have created something that is magical. And that's what smart spectrum is. It's, it's bringing back that ability to work more deeply and more broadly in your system. And I love that because when we understand that essential oils are super small, right? They're under 300 atomic mass units or Daltons that that's, they're tiny. So what they're going to do is they're volatile too. They're, they're going to push and move and, and kind of create this energy that's happening that they're going to take that CBD that is going to be able to get into your body and there it's going to it's going to pull it in and it's going to make it more bioavailable and what bioavailability means is that they better absorb and your body uses uses them better and so i mean like this is huge and so young living is the only company on the market to offer smart spectrum and we're the only company on the market that offers 
full spectrum, unmodified essential oils. So you're getting the benefits of the oils along with the CBD. I think it's really fascinating. I think it's really smart to, to do this and to understand that those two facts alone, right? Understanding the purity and how important that soil is and understanding that we have smart spectrum makes ours, in my opinion, the best on the planet. So essential oil infusion is big and, and we've talked about this already, but remember, we're the only company in the United States to provide full spectrum essential oils. Interestingly enough, I mean, I've been talking about this for two years now and some of our direct competitors are starting to figure this one out. They're starting to realize that people don't care what it smells like, they care that it works. And that's interesting to me. Fantastic. Good job. And like, fine, but their whole line is not that way. You're going to get a couple here and there. I'm interested in an entire line of products that are full spectrum when it comes to my essential oils. And I'm proud to say that those full spectrum essential oils are what is used in these CBD products. Okay. So it's, it's important to note and important to uphold that standard. All right. So our CBD, you're able to get it in 500 milligram or 1,000 concentration. And what you want to do is shake that bottle for about 10 seconds. You want to use a dropper full, either a half a dropper or a full dropper. And you're going to place it on the desired area. Okay, it's super easy. Um, usually wait 30 to 60 seconds wherever you place it and then do what you need to do with it, like rub it in or do what you need to do with it. You're going to use this morning and night for two weeks to feel optimal results. And you need to really keep this refrigerated. A lot of people are like, wait a minute, I've never been told I need to keep this refrigerated. This does have carrier oil in it. And so carrier oils tend to last like six months or so. And so typically you should be using this up in six months. If you think you're going to go through this within, you know, a month or two, then fine. You can absolutely leave it out on your bedside table or wherever it is that is going to cause you to remember to use it. You can keep it in your purse, whatever. Um, just know that if you think you're going to take a longer time to use this, I keep mine in the fridge. I have a bunch. I have pretty much everything that we carry. So I kind of like them in the fridge because I'm rotating through different ones. The thing that's so fascinating to me, and people always ask like, well, which one should I start to start with is that um, just start with the lowest one, see how you do, because you can double up. Like if it's, if you have the 500 milligram one and you use two dropper fulls or a full dropper, right? That's a, a, like a full dropper is considered one serving, but a lot of people only need to use the half mil. So if I look at ours compared to other brands that I've used, I, ha I only have to use half of a dropper to get the same effect. Let's say if it had the same milligrams to get the same effect as another companies that had the same milligrams, I'd have to use a full drop dropper. A and the reason for that, remember, goes back to our essential oils. The quality of the CBD is huge and the fact that the essential oils make them more bioavailable. Are you guys catching this? So when people say like, wow, yours is expensive, it's not. It's like half the price of the other companies because I have to use half as less, right? I don't have to use the same amount. I can use less by half. It's big to me. It's a big deal. So instead of using a full dropper, I can use half a dropper and, and fine, right? That's a cool thing. So just understand that the dropper may be used traditionally. I need you to be able to look that up, figure out what traditionally means, or you can rub it on the desired location. And part of the thing that we have to be aware of, because I sell this, I am a direct sales distributor for Young Living, um, there are laws in place against us being able to say that you can consume this. There are laws now in place saying that you can't give this to pets, right? It's so crazy, but those are the laws. And so because of that, we uphold that. And, and some people are confused. We used to have a pet pet line and they just took it out because the laws have changed. And guess how quickly we adapt to the laws. They always give us like 30 to 60 days to adapt. We do it the same day. The moment the law comes out, you better believe they let their leaders know this is the way the landscape of the law has changed. This is the way you need to move forward. I love that about Young Living. I never look at that as being handcuffed. I look at that as great, fine, no problem. My customers are smart. 
my customers have the internet. You can go look it up, okay? <laughs> so I just want you to be aware of that and know that um, part of the reason, too, to shake it is because it's a CBD isolate. It's a, basically a powder that's in there that you need to shake up. So don't ever not shake it up because then you'll get way more. So just, just something to consider. All right. Um, oops, we got some Spanish in there. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> just know that CBD oil, um, we're doing these in Spanish as well. So CBD oil supports, you know, emotional well-being. It, it supports muscle and joint tension, your wake and sleep patterns. It helps with nervous tension. It can help reduce nausea. These are typical things, but guess what? That's not a full list of everything that this stuff does. I absolutely encourage you to go ahead and and look online and see all the amazing things that are available to you because of CBD oil, right? So in our CBD oil, we have a MCT oil. It's medium chain triglycerides. It's basically coconut oil, and that's the carrier oil base. And we have organic stevia leaf extract in there, which is a natural sweetener, which again, you can do the math and understanding why that's in there. Um, we offer it in three different blends, right? Citrus, which is our main one, which is the one I recommend that you start with uh, because of the high monoterpene content, which helps it become really bioavailable. It also comes in mint and cinnamon. Those are both great pushers. And what I mean by um, pushers is spearmint, peppermint, cinnamon bark. Those are all great pushing oils. They will push that CBD isolate right into your body. So it's really good. We carry uh, two other products. One is the CBD Calm Roll-On. That's also available in 300 or 600, right? So each of these products are available in two different concentrations. Can I tell you how much I love this one? This one, again, shake it for about 10 seconds and then roll on the desired area like your wrists, the back of your necks, your temples or across your forehead, right? Like your lower back, your upper back, like your whole body, <laughs> your hands. I mean, it's kind of one of those things where, um, okay, we have a, a miniature pincher and the, the dog's crazy in the car and, and we drive a lot to Mammoth. It's like six, seven hour drive. And he is so sad in that drive. Like, I'm talking, we actually had to go to the vet and get some um, tranquilizers for him, those little pills that are like sedating him. And we, we for, for many months of driving up there, we were sad. It was sad to see this little guy drugged, right? With his eyes like half masked. He was still anxious, but just drugged. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I wonder if this will work on him. So one time we didn't give him any of the medication and we, I took some of this you know, the calm roll on, rubbed it on my fingers. And then I just massaged his paws with it. And then I just took the rest left over and just stroked the back of his, his head, like from, from the top of his head down the back of his neck, like mid, 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 mid spine. Within seconds, he calmed down and he was like a happy, happy passenger. <laughs> First time ever. It was such a blessing. Now that's how we do things with Dash, our little miniature pincher who's a psycho, right? And he is so sweet. He's become the best guard person. And even when I forget, sometimes I'm like, oh, he'll be fine. And then he starts freaking out and I'm like, oh, let me get the calm roll on, right? It has become such a major blessing for us. And I absolutely encourage you to understand that this is usable for your kids, for your pets, uh, for you. You can roll this in your belly button, right? People talk about this all the time when we're talking about helping get a better night's sleep is just roll it in your belly button or like around your belly button. You can do this for your kids too. So this one is a big one. I highly encourage you guys to get this one. Um, here are some of the ingredients in this. Again, CBD oil, but then this is combined with more essential oils. Lavender, vetiver, eucalyptus, frankincense, orange, ylang ylang. These are all really calming oils. But if you look at the properties of these, it's supporting focus and calming and sleep. It's supporting um, your ability to have a better emotional pattern, right? Your, your ability to focus at school. You can use this right before school. You can use this before a big test. This helps support, like I said, all of your emotional and it's supporting energies, like balancing out that energies and this feeling of well-being. So it's a really important uh, part of this collection, and I encourage you all to get it. So the carrier oil blend, you can see there's a lot of cool carrier oils in there, and that just supports your skin, all of this. So people ask, is this okay to use on your face? You look at the ingredients, absolutely. This makes a wonderful face oil. Like, 
wonderful, <laughs> okay? So you can just take this, roll it all over your fingers, roll, rub your hands together, and then rub your whole face. And you've got yourself one of the best face serums ever okay you can even take the dropper off and get a or excuse me take the roller off pour this into a dropper and use it as a face dropper it's just that it's that awesome okay and if you look up cbd skin and skin support it's really good <laughs> so again use that internet um okay this is some usage ideas so again I, i've said roll across your foreheads and temples to soothe tension you can roll on the back of your neck before school to help with focus you can even do that before work right roll on your wrist to help you relax roll it on the bottom of your feet before bed roll it in and around your belly button right to help calm you and for that more restful night's sleep so these are some great examples of how to use this all right I love this one and if you haven't tried this this will really quickly become your favorite uh, we use this all the time and I you know I'm constantly mountain biking and hiking and uh, and then also sitting for very long periods of time because I'm an author and I get real stiff like real stiff I'm almost 46 and I'm just sort of stiff I think I've been telling you guys I've been 46 all year and then I did the math realizing I'm 45 still <laughs> I turned 46 this month. It's just so funny. Age is such a weird thing to me. I, I'm waiting to be 80. I don't know. I love it. I, I My best friends are all way older than me in their 70s, and I love that. So <laughs> all good. So you're going to just use a tiny amount. This stuff spreads really well. So I, this will last you a very long time. Tiny amount, and you're just going to smooth it in, like rub it on. It supports your joints and muscles. It's good stuff. So what this has is, again, it has that CBD. It comes in 300 and 600 milligrams. But this has some other essential oils that, again, help push this product into your into your body, like into your muscles and joints, but also those oils help feel really good, like camphor. Camphor is really cooling and helps re helps with this relief on your muscles. Uh, tea tree, we all know and love tea tree, and it helps support healthy skin. Lemon supports skin brightening and skin soothing. Peppermint really helps drive that CBD oil in. Same with the camphor, though. Clove supports muscle tenderness. Uh, we love clove. Wormwood, um, interesting oil, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding this, but wormwood in small amounts is really good for skin soothing and tension. Um, wormwood, though, is one of those oils, same with camphor, that you want to avoid when you're pregnant. There's such small amounts in here, so that's your call. I would never give a pregnant woman advice on this stuff. You got to do the research and decide what's right for you. Wormwood is, is bad consuming it. You're not consuming this product. So it's one of those things to just consider. Okay. Wintergreen um, also is, is one of those things that helps support joint and muscle soothing. But again, for pregnant women um, can be a little bit too exciting to your system, to your circulatory system. So again, that's up to you, but there's such small amounts in here. This wintergreen just makes it feel good. It's like Panaway, right? If you use Panaway, you've got wintergreen, helichrysum, peppermint, and um, clove is what's in Panaway. So you've got Panaway in here, which is really interesting. And helichrysum supports cellular tissue re regeneration, which again is one of those things that a lot of people need. So check out this balm base blend. And why it's called a balm is because it sort of looks, I don't know, like a balm, right? It's kind of like this weird opaque color. Um, but what it has is camellia leaf oil, beeswax, shea butter, safflower, menthol, squalene, jojoba seed oil, vitamin E, and arnica flower um, oil. And what these all do is they help soothe, smooth, and moisturize the skin. So when we're looking at uses of this, you can really just rub a small amount on your location, like I said, but then massage it into places like your lower back, your knees, your shoulders, your hands. But I encourage you to use this throughout the day as needed. Um, you can have it with you in your purse or you can just use it twice a day. I find that I only need to use it twice a day and I'm good to go, but that's up to you. Uh, what I encourage some of you to try, and I've done this and it works really well, is to rub a tiny amount on an extra dry foot area like you know some of you have like those weird feet that have all sorts of crazy calluses on them or crazy dry spots put it on that then put some socks over it so that it doesn't get all greasy on your bed and you're gonna be amazed at how well this works and you would use that probably for about a month just a small amount it, it, again it would you would have so much left over so this will 
last you for probably, I don't know, it depends on how much you're using it. I use it quite a bit and I still, I still haven't really breached the top portion of, like if you see that top portion, it's, it's probably like low, like down here. It's very interesting. So I love this stuff and it smells really good too. So I use it after a workout. I also use it sometimes before I go to bed um, and sometimes in the morning when I wake up. So really good. So the deal is with Young Living is that this is now available at wholesale pricing at 24% off. So we have slowly but surely gotten this product into our lineup and this is now fully available. And what I love about the benefits of membership with Young Living is that you have full access to these CBD products at 24% off, but you also then have access to over 600 other products. What I love about Young Living is we have more products than any other company on the market when it comes to oil infused products. It is just a fact. I have customers from other companies switch over to Young Living simply because of that fact alone. They need better cleaning supplies. They want better options for their babies. We have an entire baby line called Seedlings. They want better supplements. Our supplements are second to none. Uh, we have better, um, literally like a fuller, larger cleaning product line that you can swap everything out. I encourage you to watch my thieves program. That one will give you everything you need to know. But what's cool about this is that when you buy your kit, you're going to get like 44 to 48% off depending on which kit you get. And that kit purchase is your membership fee. So you're in. And it's really lifetime membership. Young Living's funny. They say, you know, in order to stay active, you need to spend 50 PV a month, which is about $50 per month, or excuse me, per year. But um, I've never seen them uphold that. And what I mean by that is if you let your membership lapse and it's been over a year and you call them and you say, hey, I want to reactivate, they allow you to without having to spend anything. They'll just reactivate you because they don't, they don't, Ah, here's the thing, right? So many companies are like so strict about making sure that like you are buying from them every single month and they lock you in. And I, I was just, just recently was able to finally get out of one of these companies that I'd been locked in for, I don't know, like, 12 years and they wouldn't let me go. And I finally had to tell them, look, I'm a leader in another company that carries similar products to yours. Um, just some of the products are similar because they started carrying oils like every other company now. And I said, you, you have to cancel my membership. They wouldn't, they really wouldn't. I I've spent years trying to get out of this company. And finally they were like, okay, <laughs> because I used the whole, like I'm a leader in another company. It's against policy on both of our sides. And I'm so happy about that because I, was locked in. And what I mean by that is every month I had to spend $80. If I didn't, even if my card, you know how sometimes you can like shenagle the system and take your card number out so they can't charge your card? They don't care. They send you a, a certificate that says you owe us this amount of money and here's your certificate to buy your $80 worth of product. I'm like, what in the world? I love that Young Living doesn't lock you in. And your, your membership fee is, your kit is your membership fee. It's like Costco. You order what you want when you want. I've had friends that are really concerned about like direct sales and they're like, you're going to lock me in and I don't want to do that and I don't like this and it's all a scam. Listen, Young Living is not a scam just like Costco is not a scam. Young Living absolutely wants to give you the best products at the best prices and so it makes sense to get membership. And your membership is your kit, so you're in. And then what's cool is they offer an additional thing if you want to join. You don't have to, but you can. If you love these products and you want additional discounts, then you can join Essential Rewards. And that would be a monthly order that you would design. You would decide on what you want each month. You would decide when it's shipped to you. You would specifically pick things that you want and how you want it. And the cool thing about it is that you're going to get up to 25% back on these products. So you start out at 10%, you quickly move up to 20%, and then you can get up to 25% for those who have been on it for a while back. That makes this stuff so much less expensive. <laughs> I'm talking so much more affordable. The other thing is you're going to get additional free promos, right, with the specific minimum orders. And then you're going to get this crazy cool concierge service from your enroller, right? So my customers get my cell phone number. We have conversations all the time. I'm texting them all the time. I'm asking them how I can help them. I'm proactively reaching out to them rather than just waiting for them to contact me. You're going to get access to amazing educational groups. Not only do you already have access to this group, but you get access to your enrollers group, right? Which means free training, 
free education. You really can't get any better than ben like these benefits if you look at other companies that are like, well, our customer service is really good. Well, that's nice. Like Susie, whoever might be nice on the phone, but is she giving me personalized concierge service? Am I getting all of these extra benefits? No. I love that Young Living really does want to help us, and that's what's so cool about this. Okay, so the CBD kit, such a good, 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 good value. Look at this. You can get these three pot products that are in the picture here. It's a 500 milligram CBD. Remember, a 500 milligram is going to act much like a doubled up one of another company's because of the essential oil content. The 300 milligram Calm Roll-On, that is the one I use on Dash. Um, the, the 300 milligram muscle rub, that's actually the one I use too. So just know I've used all of them and I feel like those work fine for me. That's a $295 value, okay? $294.85. Basically, you're getting all of this plus a CBD brochure, which I haven't even included in that baseline price, for 44%. It's actually over 44% off for $165. It's incredible. Now, you can only get this as a new person. So if you want to sign up, you can get this. If you are already a member, you can't get this yet, okay? So this is for new people. I love this. The extra strength starter kit comes in 1,000, 600, and 600. So you see it's basically doubled everything, but you'd think it's, they would double the price. They didn't. So you're getting really close to 50% off. It's 48 point something percent off and it's $250. So write down that item number if you want, or um, I'm going to show you how to enroll just so that you can go through this easily. But that is a cool, this is a really amazing deal to get all of these products uh, for these prices. Okay. So we did talk about essential rewards in a small amount, but I will say if you look at any company, right, they have like 5% cash back, 10% cash back, uh, promos on this, promos on that. Like companies really do want to want to reward their customers who are all in. People who really just understand the value and benefits of certain things and they want to reward them. Again, you don't have to sign up for this. I have places I go to every week and we have those little reward things where if every every 10th time you go in, they give you a free entree or whatever or you get 5 bucks off your meal. We do this all the time with all these companies. It's piddly compared to what you're getting back on our essential rewards. So why wouldn't you want this, right? Because you can cancel this at any time. It's not like you're locked in. The cool thing about this is that every month you get to design a wellness box and it comes right to your front door every month. You also get to choose what date you want. So it's just whenever you want it to ship, okay? You're going to earn up to 25% back. And again, like I said, the first the first couple months, like first three months, you're going to earn 10% back. And then on your fourth month being on Essential Rewards, you start getting 20% back right away, which adds up fast. Once you've been on Essential Rewards for two years, they bump you up to the 25% back. So again, they want to really honor their longtime customers. But what's cool about it is there's a really low monthly minimum to stay active in Essential Rewards. It's only 50 PV, which by the way, I could spend in my sleep. I use their shampoos. I use their toothpaste. I use all their supplements. I mean, I use everything. So it's like it's like a no-brainer for me because my Target bill used to be $1,500 a month. You know when you go into Target and you have a list? If you stick to that list, good on you. I'm never able to stick to that list. I'm like going down the aisles going like, I need that. And now my cart becomes full of stuff I don't need, like a rug that my husband's like, what in the world? So I no longer go to Target. I go to Target for razors. That's it. <laughs> it's like it's like so funny to me where I don't have to shop there anymore. And because I'm not buying all of these other products, I've swapped them. I've literally swapped all of my cleaning supplies out with Young Living products. I've swapped all of my supplements. I've swapped all of my personal care products out, all of my makeup, right? This is a big deal. I don't have to go to Target anymore, and I don't have to then have these impulse buys. It's a huge savings, you guys. Like, I'm talking huge. And so just know that this is a big deal um, because it will totally change your budget. Um, you're going to get reduced shipping, but then if you decide to go on Young Living Go, YL Go is just like uh, Amazon Prime, right? You're going to get huge, huge shipping savings, right? I think it's funny that everybody assumes Prime is free. It's not. You've paid like 200 bucks <laughs> a year to be on Prime. But um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically the same thing as YLGO, which I love. You're going to earn free products and free loyalty gifts. So each time you hit a milestone in being a member on ER, they send you a free gift, a free oil. Um, you know, like I said, if you hit a certain amount, like if you hit 100 PV on ER, you always get free products. I love this, you guys. You're going to 
get access to exclusive oils that are only available to ER members. So that's an important thing as well. I've had some of my members say, hey, how come I can't get this oil on, on um, you know, my quick order or my one-time order? And I say, well, you need to be an ER member, right? It's a perk. And um, like I said, you're going to get free exclusive oils at the 100 PV level. So as essential rewards absolutely make sense. And I encourage you to sign up for it. And if you just decide you don't need anything next month, easy peasy, cancel, right? All right. So the other thing that maybe some of you guys want is maybe you want to get CBD for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Young Living offers easy entry into your own personal business. You can sell oils, but if you just want to sell CB, have at it. You become your own boss with no income cap. So let me just go over a few of these benefits because I think people don't really understand this. You're going to get low startup. And so many companies, it's like $1,000 or more to, to get started. Uh, you know, my sister's opening up a, a brick and mortar studio bar up in Ventura. And it's like it's astronomical. We're talking like $80,000, right? You want to start up a business, $165. <laughs> that's it. And it's your kit. You get your product. That's your startup cost. You could even decide, I want to start this as a business. I don't have even $165. You can join for $35 as a, as a member and become a distributor. And you don't even, that's the, you, that's the minimum buy-in. Like, how cool is that? You get free product and business training. Okay, so imagine saying, I need a new job. I need to find something to do. But there's going to, I don't have the, I don't have the knowledge, right? So many people get so concerned about that. You get free product training, <coughs> excuse me, and free business training. We pour into our members business training. We make sure they know what they're doing. All right, the other thing that's really great about this is that you don't have to ever stock product, ever. Do you guys remember like having a family member or a friend join some company that now their entire garage is like dedicated to the products that they have to buy each month <laughs> and then sell? So I'm so thankful that Young Living doesn't make us do this. Uh, it comes directly from the warehouse. It goes direct to consumer. So if somebody says, hey, Jen, I want some CBD oil, I'm like, great. Let me show you how to log on to your wholesale account, and you can buy it. <laughs> I don't stock it. You go buy it. It's easy. It's super easy. There's no monthly or yearly fees. Every company ever, direct sales, MLMs, all those companies, they charge you monthly fees, yearly fees. You have to buy a certain amount because you have to be this like high producing member. So you have to buy like thousands of dollars a month. There's no monthly or yearly fees. There's no need to host parties. You can if you want, but you don't have to, right? I haven't hosted a party in like a year. I think my last party was last November, like last two years ago. Like it's been that long. I do everything online and we teach you how to do this. There's a low monthly minimum. So one thing that people always talk about when it comes to uh, direct sales is this uh, paycheck eligibility. Paycheck eligibility is interesting. Comp plans for so many of these companies are really hard to understand and kind of like, wait, why didn't I get a paycheck this month? Well, you didn't, you didn't do this, 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 and this. Young Living has simplified it. Really, it's 100 PV, which again, super easy to get. And I teach my, my early builders, the people who are just starting out, how to get that covered so that they're not having to come out of pocket each month in the beginning, right? How, how do you get your PV to, to get to the point where you are paycheck eligible? A hundred bucks a month. It's low, <laughs> okay? Um, but I teach you guys some kind of little easy things to do to, to get um, that covered when you're starting out, and it's, it's awesome. And Honestly, you're going to want that, though, because you're going to want to learn about the products and use them and enjoy them. And it's a tax deduction, a full tax deduction. Like, hello, yeah, that's what we want. We want to learn the business. You also have zero income cap, unlimited earning potential. You know you could outrank your enroller. So, like, my goal is to get the people below me to outrank me, right? How fun is that? There's no pyramid here. It's really a messy tree, we like to call it. It's sort of like, you know, your enroller, your sponsor, the people above you, you could outrank them quicker than they can get there. <laughs> so it's awesome. You put in the work and you get the benefits. That's, there's no glass ceiling. 
And what I love about Young Living is they truly honor people by giving them these incredible rank up trips. So starting at silver and above, you get to go on these trips that will blow you away. I absolutely adore Young Living for this. They roll out the red carpet. It's a lot of fun and definitely something you should be striving for. And who wouldn't want to make all that money too, right? I mean, that's the bonus of this all. All right. So if you are interested in getting into the business, um, 31 Oils has released a new CBD PSK flyer, which makes this all very easy to understand. And it is all directing them back to you. So you'd put your, your member number, your name, your contact information, and you can hand this out to people who might be interested in CBD. And it talks all about purity, smart spectrum. It gives you examples of how to use each of the products and why essential oils that are used in this product are so important to be pure. Um, really good. It shows them exactly how to sign up. It's awesome. Super easy. So I'm going to share with you real quick how to get started. There's several ways that you can do this. And if you're interested, you can ask me how, or you can contact the person who invited you to this class. Just contact them. But it's really an honor to get anybody started on Young Living because it will change it will change your life. It will change your world for the better. And that's what we want, especially this time of year, right? We want to get healthy. We want to feel good. We want to find balance in our lives, but we also want to find purpose. And that's what's so great about Young Living is their motto is wellness, purpose, and abundance. And it's such a good motto to live by. So I want to help you get there. I would love to get you started. You can go to 31oils.com forward slash CBD. That's going to give you a lot more information. At the end of that, there's a way to sign up if you do want to sign up um, with 31 oils. That's my husband. Uh, if you want to sign up with me, you can contact me directly. My member number is 916. Oh, brother, I always forget it because it's close to my bank account. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> 946916. I get them mixed up all the time. Um, we're going to have to change that. But 946916, it's a six digit number. I've been a member, like I said, since 2007. And I wouldn't change a thing. I absolutely love Young Living. I think that you will too. Um, just know that anyone who signs up with us gets a full, huge, beautiful welcome packet from us with all sorts of books and tools for you to get started. Um, you'll get some of those CBD flyers as well. Um, one of the things that we want to make sure you know, though, is that if a friend invited you to this class, I want you going with them. It is so much fun, you guys, to do this with friends. So make sure, ask them, hey, what's your welcome packet, right? Everybody has one, and it's really fun to get started on the right foot. Everyone is welcome in this course, in this class, in this group. You guys, I have thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with you today and teaching you all about Nature's Ultra by Young Living CBD Oil Roll On and muscle rub. So I look forward to looking at all the comments and I absolutely appreciate all of you guys for hanging out with me. It's been a fun, blessed little over an hour. I usually try to keep these to an hour, but thanks so much for hanging out. Add your friends to this group. Anyone is welcome to join this group and they can be in here and uh, enjoy learning from us. All right. So take care and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.